we had a lot of fabulous performances at the Missouri Valley Indoor Championship. I think probably both teams came away from the meet as a team feeling like that we would have we would have hoped to have finished higher. We were excruciatingly close to winning the championship on the women's side, two and two-thirds points. Um, if you went through the meet event by event, you would find literally event by event how close we might have won the championship. So that was bittersweet, I suppose, but I choose to look at all the fabulous performances. Uh, Boy, it was an exciting meet, and we had terrific accomplishments, event after event after event, a lot of great performances, and it was a lot of fun. Definitely a tough meet overall for the team. There was some really great competition from both Illinois State and Missouri State. And I mean, for the eight, I figured that it was my last year, and it was my final chance to actually prove myself. Like Coach Bolt said, I've had some issues with that place in the past and I'm definitely happy with the win. It was tough but like he said I went out with the determination to actually win and I didn't give up at all. I just kept pushing through. I mean same thing just we got third which was you know it's not disappointing but we fought so hard like that that was our main goal. We told Bolt the entire entire indoor season that we had move-up points all over the place and that we could do it and that we could fight back and we could narrow that margin down at least to give us a better shot at you know getting second or first. And that was kind of our main goal going into it, was that we wanted to at least leave the place with a trophy. And, I mean, we came close, 12, 13 points, whatever, from second. Like, like Bolt said, that's he, he and I are definitely the rivals and that sort of a thing. Like, we push each other every single day. And, you know, without him, I wouldn't be running fast. And it came down to the... The last little bit, and you know, we both ran really good. Just, yeah, that's just how it ended. So, it was, it was good. It was a great race. We have four events heading into the conference championship. We leave next week, uh, going down to Arizona Rio Verde Golf Course. Haven't been there before, but it's a really strong field. There's 18 teams at it. Uh, we're just looking to get out in some sunshine, good golf conditions. Um, we're trying to get off to a better start this year, so we delayed our start a little bit. Um, normally we're in tournament competition two or three weeks by now, um, but we're just trying to get a little bit more sunshine under our belt before we get going. Um, and, and our practices have been great, qualifying has been pretty solid, um, kind of banged up right now. We have two players on injured reserve uh, that are going to be staying home, uh, but we've got more depth than we've had in recent years, so I'm pretty confident and comfortable with who we have going. Um, well, we came in after Christmas break really looking forward to uh, getting back out outside, it was really great weather, so um, we got to practice a lot outside and going into the season we know what we need to improve on and we know what we need to work on and we're really looking forward to getting started.